Land is the basis of all independence. somebody about when Africans, West Africans, uh, reached the Iron Age. They would say, oh, they didn't reach the Iron Age until the Colonials got there, and after the Berlin Conference in 1884-1885. But if you look at the, the Igbo people of Southeast Nigeria, in a, in a small village called Leja, in a town called Nsuka, in Southeast Nigeria, there is evidence to point towards the fact that the Igbo people were actually smelting iron as far back as 2000 BC. You can read this article uh, written by a, wom a woman by the name of Pamela S. Usumaka. Pamela S. Usumaka, she wrote a whole article on this and other, others have also written articles on this that the Igbo people were actually producing these things and there, there's also these pyramids that you can find all throughout um, in certain parts of Southeast Nigeria when the colonials got there in the early 1900s there were these pyramids there and these pyramids are where some of the iron work was actually being conducted all right even if you fast forward to the ninth century you have the the Igbo bronzes these Igbo bronzes um, were discovered same in the same type of fashion by once the colonialists got there in the in the 1900s you start to see people digging up certain parts of the land and all kinds of stuff and eventually there was a nigerian farmer there that actually discovered these Igbo bronzes and there was a plethora of them and some of these things you can find in british museums to this day but if you look at the fine writing and, and the fine designs on those Igbo bronzes some people think these things are just random designs some people think that these things are just decorations but if you, but there was an actual language amongst the Southeast Nigerian Africans, the Igbo, the, uh, the Efu, the Efik, the Ejagam, these Africans actually had a writing system known as Nsibidi. And you can find the Nsibidi, the origins of Nsibidi, probably tracing back to the year 200 AD, some people say even farther back than that, on the what they call the Ikom monoliths. These Ikom monoliths were these, these stones that were found all throughout southeast part of Nigeria as well when the colonialists got there and there were all types of hieroglyphic type of writings on these things and writings that people say are connected to the writing system known as Nsibidi. Now Nsibidi was not a very centralized writing system and it varied depending upon what secret society you were a part of or what community you lived in etc. But it was there and that was the thing. So the Igbo people had a knowledge of these writing systems and they put these writings on their skins and and on their scar as scarification and things like that land is the basis of all independence